Hello, this is Jerry Cusano, composer with OCP, and welcome to the first of my YouTube videos. This week, we're going to look at the 21st Sunday in Ordinary Time. So we'll be a number of weeks ahead. And here's the thing about it. It's a little bit of an anomaly. The refrain does not come from the psalm itself. This, we call it a response or an antiphon. It actually comes from the Gospel of Mark. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Another anomaly is that this happens to be the shortest of the psalms that are proclaimed in the three-year lectionary cycle. So that makes it a little bit simpler. However, one still needs to pay careful attention to the text, to whom it is directed, and also in terms of uh, encouraging the congregation to participate in the antiphon or the response. Today's psalm, go out to all the world and tell the good news. Now that response is directed to all Christ's disciples. It comes from the Gospel of Mark. It would be what Jesus said just before he ascended into heaven. The psalm itself, praise the Lord all you nations, glorify him all you peoples. That text and the second verse as well is addressed not just to disciples, but it's addressed to the entire cosmos, everything that God has created, not just the people of earth, but to the entirety of God's creation. And we are the harbingers of that message. And here is the psalm for the 21st Sunday in Ordinary Time, Year C, as written by Estela Garcia Lopez and Rodolfo Lopez in Spirit and Psalm. through the Psalms for each week. I'll give you a little more instruction as to some of the suggestions I have in terms of proclaiming them, in terms of serving as the cantor or the psalmist, and some tips on just how to bring a sense of urgency to them so that the assembly will feel the need to participate in this, which is not a response to the first reading. We once thought of it that way but is instead another proclamation of scripture in which the entire congregation takes part. It's a beautiful gift. And we will then talk about, over the course of this series, we will then talk about the importance of the purity of the texts. God bless you. Please spread the word if you think this is helpful. And please don't forget to subscribe and encourage others to do so as well. God bless you.